Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play OU4 as Russia. So... And there we go, sorry about that. I had to click... I forgot to start, forgot to start my stopwatch. There we go. <laughs> At any rate, where are we gonna start a war? And there we go. And we're gonna crush them. Hopefully we'll do this quickly. That's at least my hope, so that we can... Oh, you're actually... Uh, wait a second, you have ships at sea. What? Oh, this is yours. Okay, never mind, it's not my ships that are gonna be in combat. Or... Okay, never mind, it was. There we go. God, I'll have some merchant ship from that, that's fine. Hey, Congo got peace. Oh, England actually lost the province. Oh my. Go Congo. Okay, we're gonna uh, march in here. Face them. You shifted your rivals, that's unfortunate. I think. Zagreb, good. I would love to keep converting stuff here, but that's not gonna be possible because these were recently converted. So that pesky, pesky, pesky... Yeah. Religious seal modifier is gonna block that. For some time. So we'll keep going through the Middle East instead. We have lots of missionaries. We do have six of them now, right? Uh, da -da 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 one, two, three, four. Now it's buildings. Missionaries, there we go. One, three, four, five. Because we haven't restored the Pentarchy yet. That's true. I need to core Rome and then and then convert it. That's gonna take a while. Yeah, right. Spain is now at war. So, whoa, whoa. Um, they have our dynasty. Oh dear, we must have more prestige than they do. Uh, that's... Oh, good lord. Um, <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> I had not expected it to actually happen. Uh, but yeah, it did. And now they have our dynasty and no heir. They do still have a royal marriage with us. Oh dear. Oh, we couldn't do it anyway, could we? Because we are allied to them. That is true. We'd have to break the alliance and wait five years. Ah. And in that time, he's definitely gonna get an heir. But hey, they do have a dynasty. They do have our dynasty, so that's a good thing for the future. Though, here's the other thing. We, if, if we're going to have a uh, personal union, we really need to have them quickly because we need the time to integrate them as well. And uh, let's see, how if I integrate a personal union, what happens to their subject states, i.e. their colonial empire? Do they break free or do they... Or do they uh, become our colonial subject states? Because th that would actually be bad under our current uh, rule set. Because we want these to become our culture, right? That's the long game. And I don't think I can force culture on a colonial subject. I know I can force culture on a personal union subject. I'm fairly certain of that. Uh, we can force culture, there we go. Um, a regular vassal, you cannot do that. A colonial subject... Should have one somewhere. Uh, Russian Canada, there we go. I cannot enforce culture. So there. Ah, well, you know what, I'm just... Yeah. 
we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna stay friendly with them. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay, now we know that. They have our dynasty. Totally missed that. Interesting. I wish there was a pop-up for that, actually. Or a setting for that. Oh, another country got your dynasty. Would have been interesting. At any way, at any rate. It is something for the future. Maybe. I'm gonna stay friendly with Spain for the time being. You decided to do what? Stop, okay. Is that because English Columbia became loyal? No. They did not become loyal. Oh, let me check this, by the way. You need one artillery plus one bonus. Yeah, that's fine. So that's one plus two is four plus another three. Wait, that can't be right. Oh, oh, okay. Amount of artillery compared to the fort. Oh, good lord. Um. Ah, oh, I never, never real, never got get these break breakpoints right, do I? Bonus depends on the amount of artillery compared to the fort level. So if I'm gonna siege a say a level four fort, I'm gonna need how much extra artillery in order to get the plus three bonus? Four times three is twelve. Bah. Oh, well, let's put it this way. I currently have four units of artillery, and I have plus four a plus four bonus because I have four artillery pieces per level of fort. That's how it goes. Okay, so with a an artillery level of ten, I can siege a level. Wait a second. This is a level one fort. Because it's just a capital fort, right? A level 2 fort, a regular fort, will require more artillery. That would... Ugh. 2 artillery per, which is what I usually have now. Which means... Let's see. Uh, let's assume that the majority is going to be level 4 forts for, for the moment. So we're going to need... 4 artillery per fort level. 16 artillery. In order to get the 4 bonus, yes, but we need even more to get... We need 20 artillery in order to get the 5 plus 5 bonus on a level 4 fort. I think. I have to actually go see that. I... yeah. Mathematics. I suck at it. Which means I'm perfect for this game, right? Uh, right, you can probably board now. This colony we're gonna, well, is going to need you right away. It's 200 days away. How long do you take to sail all that road? All that path? You're going to arrive there in August. April, May, June, July, August. That's 160 days. So you can wait a while longer. Let's wait until June. You are still sailing back. Almost almost sinking at this point. Amruks are gone, more or less. Rome is cored. Fantastic, we can call it either one. Let's do that. Congo said England England's arrival. Oh dear. Wait a second, the other oh there we go. The other lands just rose up. Well, they should have, but where did they go? That's not that one. Oh! Okay, I mis completely misread that. I thought they were somewhere way up there. Uh, are you actually gonna kill our rebels for us, Ottomans? You're black flagged. Oh, it's the poor <laughs> Mamluks. Oh, poor Mamluks. 
Do I have anyone with good maneuver? Not really. Okay, you're gonna be it then. Just get down there. I thought it was this province up here for some reason. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that revolt is gonna get nationalism. Didn't pay attention to that. Not proper attention. Okay, Navy, how are you doing? Still inbound, right? There you are. You are fairly intact, other than the one trade ship that we captured. Which we're gonna separate. We'll load aboard. <sighs> so. I'm gonna rely on Spain to deal with uh, Portugal proper. And I'm gonna try to focus on their colonial holdings. Should move this guy closer at the very least so we can move through Florida at a rapid pace. Is all this the same colonial region? It isn't. Hmm, interesting. So you're kind of spread out, actually. I will we'll deal with that. See if we can force them, force them out of Brazil, force them out of Louisiana, force them out of the uh, eastern seaboard. Might leave in Caribas. Oh yeah, and the troops we're going to ferry to Africa. We should probably send them right now. Because there's no way this can ferry anywhere once we start the start the fight. Because Portugal has a fair sized navy. Right, we're not gonna get nationalism. There's a fort there. Yay for these cheap forts that we don't care about really. Uh, what else? We you, you were waiting for transport as well. You are not gonna get it, most likely. Get over there, please. And there's the leftover caravel. You can uh, probably join the Crimean fleet. Once you're done repairing. Yeah, there we go. Didn't actually get separatism, that's good. Declare war on Okay England, you're trying to push into uh, that region. Inspiring CB. Okay, that's fine. Not too worried about the insults from Serbia. Right now I just want my troops into position so that I can Wait what? Oh, I forgot the war galleons. Uh, you need to... <laughs> okay. Come on. Get over there. And this one is done. Sue for peace. Thank you for playing. Please give me all your money, which I hope you have lots of. No, not much. But enough, so thank you. And... Uh, Yeah, might as well try to core it, I suppose. It's gonna go away the second we uh, finish the war with these guys and everybody else. Okay, we're in, let's have a look at Rome. Can we convert Rome? Do we have the strength? My god, we do. 22 months. Yes. Our army is still marching south here. That's going to take a long time. So many priorities, so little time. 
Yeah, that's a complete lie, that number there. Uh, we are going to print another army, one actual army. Gonna build them here. And we're going to start building up the other ones as well. That means six more artillery units. And that's more than we can afford. Artillery is expensive. Ridiculously expensive to just to build and to maintain, so. And I also wanted to save up money because we have a new institution coming around. I don't think we're going to build more manufactories. I think. We do have manufactories in most of our major cities, because that will happen, the, the institution will spawn in a city or in a province with a, manuf with a manufactory and at least 20 development. And I do believe that all our 20 development provinces already have manufactories. At least we started them. Let's see, Zustal. Uh, I do believe we built one there. Didn't we? Yes, we did. So I think we're covered there. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of infrastructure that we should build. Definitely. But uh, there's a limit to what we can afford to, so... that I'm not seeing here. Got one in Rome, got a couple here. Mosul. Okay, never mind, he's here. I think. Get more artillery. Six units of artillery, that's quite a lot of money. We should probably save up a bit before we build more. And you've arrived. Okay. Uh, you don't have a regiment, you can have that now. We need to wait for the darn warships, they're coming in. And we also need to separate and get these guys over here into port. Just a few more days. Get them into port. Come on, come on, come on. And you're gonna kill natives. There we go. Now that province is safe. Okay. Now. Oh, good lord. Spain still hasn't gotten... Spain just... Spain didn't eat the province. No, oh, never mind. They ate it. See, colonial Brazil. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Okay, fine. So, Spain, you're not at war. You'd be willing to come along here. Portugal would be willing to defend. Our war fleet has docked. That leaves one other thing. Let's have a look. I need to check. Your interest. That's fine, not really gonna take anything in 
Portugal itself. You have vested interest here. Somewhat vested interest. You don't have vested interest in south there, that's good. You do have vested interest in this region, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. You do have vested interest over here. So, let's see if we can fix that. Why must this be so freaking dark? Let's see. Province of interest, and now I can't see a darn thing. Why must it just go dark? I want these provinces, but it's so difficult to see the borders when, I, when this happens. I think that's the Portuguese border. <laughs> I actually can't see, so... Yeah, there we go. That's gonna be critical to us. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be in any condition to take over these, so that's fine. Um, let's see, Spain. Uh, anything he hasn't marked, he should hand over to us. So this is pretty much the only thing where we really contend. Same with Florida. You don't really care, so that's fine. What about Brazil? You probably have a vested interest in the region. No, you don't. I'm also going to mark a vested interest for me on this shore here. And of course, that province, which I kind of forgot that they had. I still have an army over here in India. <laughs> they better move down that way. And we finished constructing a fair few transports. That's okay, they can be around here. And wait. So here's the thing, we're gonna be behind in military tech. We're not gonna catch up to that for some time, that's okay. I don't think I'll be fighting Portugal directly, I'm fairly certain that's gonna be Spain's, Spain's job. Uh, the problem is that France might intervene. Oh, it's a diplomat. He probably shouldn't be willing to attack Spain. Not as long as I'm his ally. I hope. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see what we can manage here. I don't know what's possible, what's not possible. Since I'm declaring a proxy war. Worst case, uh, this is just a war to put a wedge between Portugal and Spain. But I'm hoping to achieve more than that. So, off we go. And I, yeah, if I had the guts, I would try to click this button there, but I don't. So, I'm gonna call in Spain. Kill the evil Arawak. Do this. Merge the fleets. Sink whatever we can. Get some cheap war score. Uh, you're gonna start marching. Today, there we go. Or not. Wait, what? Yeah, Florida is in this war. So... Why don't I have... There we go. Just need a day extra. Okay, onwards, march fast, would you? Uh, which leader is not in the new world? <laughs> Let's see. Tolly is there. Potonsky. 
That's Tolly and Potonsky. We had one dude in the south of here. He doesn't have to be there anymore. And one guy here. He doesn't have to be there either. There's gonna be a rebellion though. Yeah, okay, fine. So they're gonna we're gonna have one guy on rebel duty. That's gonna be you, because next rebellion is gonna be up in Adodia there. The one province. Probably wanna send a missionary there next so I can provoke that rebellion. So I don't have to guard it constantly. As for these lands, that's the capital fort. Yeah, we'll take the capital fort. That's all that really matters, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. We'll see then if we can succeed with a war with Portugal here and get some of the colonial states going. After that, probably fight the English, see if we can secure Colombia and Newfoundland. And after that, we need to push into uh, Mexico and secure that. And if we, if we can get that far, it is probably time for France. Now we'll see what happens. For now though, at least it's time for a break, so thank you for watching.